വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു അവർ ക്ലാസ് ഐ ഹോ ഓൾ ഓഫ് യു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റുഡ് ദ വീഡിയോ എഡിറ്റിംഗ് സോഫ്റ്റ്വെയർ ഓപ്പൺ ഷോർട്ട് വീഡിയോ എഡിറ്റർ ദാറ്റ് വി ഹാഡ് ഡിസ്കസ്ഡ് ഇൻ ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് ചാപ്റ്റർ ടുഡേ ലെറ്റ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് അവർ ടെൻ ചാപ്റ്റർ ഇൻസൈഡ് ദ കമ്പ്യൂട്ടർ ഹാവ് യു എവർ തോട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ വേരിയേഷൻ ഇൻ സൈസ് പെർഫോമൻസ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഫെസിലിറ്റീസ് ഓഫ് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് കമ്പ്യൂട്ടേഴ്സ് യു നോ ദാറ്റ് equipments like smartphones and desktop computers work with the help of a large number of big and small components right day by day changes occur in the size and shape of the computers due to the high leap in the field of electronics and information communication technology and due to this drastic changes in these fields all the electronic components now available are small in size and all their storage capacity gets increased let's start our chapter by knowing about a new small computer raspberry pi raspberry pi is a credit card sized computer the facilities that are available in a normal computer are also available in it but this consumes only very low electricity This computer is designed mainly for educational purposes but various computer programs can be prepared with the help of this computer using these kinds of programs this computer has facilities to control external equipment also now have you ever thought of the process goes on inside a computer when it works yes A computer stores the data that are received through the input devices and gives them back whenever required using the output equipment right Now can you say some examples of input and output devices Yes mouse keyboard microphone etc are input devices and monitor and printer are output devices Look at this device can you say its name This is the old model of a significant input device called mouse. But now the mouse is very much different from this, right? The second one is the mouse that we are using now. Okay. Like this, drastic changes are occurring in most of the equipments we used relating with computers. In desktop computers, all components other than input output devices are kept inside a box called cabinet okay see this is the picture of a cabinet we usually call this devices cpu right but the outer covering that is the outer case only is known as the cabinet of the computer now how are components like monitor keyboard mouse etc connected to this cabinet these are connected to the ports seen in the cabinet of the computer using different kinds of connectors you have identified the differences that have occurred in the shape and function of a mouse over the years haven't you likewise the system of connecting the input or output equipment to a computer also has changed a lot let's see look at this this is the image of the back side of the cabinet okay Here we can see different ports for connecting various devices. Now let's study the devices and the ports. First one, PS2 connector. PS2 connectors are used to connect mouse and keyboard in olden days with the computers. Okay, do you know how to connect these PS2 connectors? Yes, these are the ports to connect mouse and keyboard in olden days. Now we are using the USB connector to connect it with the computer. Look at the second one VGA connector that is video graphics array connector. Where do we connect this one? Yes, this is the port for connecting VGA connector. Which devices can be connected using this connector? Yes, monitor and television can be connected using this connector now look at the next one dvi connector that is digital visual interface where do we connect this one yes this is the dvi port for connecting dvi connector 
Can you see the devices connected using this connector? Yes, projector and monitor. The next one is HDMI, High Definition Multimedia Interface. And the port used to connect this one is the HDMI port. The devices used are television, home theater, etc. Now the next one, USB connector which we had discussed earlier. Okay, many devices can be connected by using this connector. Mouse, keyboard, etc. are examples. Now let's study about this USB in detail. USB is an advanced technology that helps in the speedy transfer of information between equipments. Apart from ordinary USB connectors, micro USB connectors to be used in mobile phones and cameras are also available now. They are used for supplying electricity to those instruments that require a minimum electricity. You might have seen mobile phone chargers, fans, lights etc working using USB. The new generation equipment use the USB 3.0 technology which has high speed data transfer. Do you know the full form of USB? Universal Serial Bus. Ok children, today we studied the various connectors and the ports used for connecting those connectors used in computers. Okay, we will continue our lesson in the next class. Thank you for watching.